<laughs> let's do grammar. Okay, so let's... Oh, wow, this is... There's a whole lot of things. Okay, so let's see. Introduction to grammar. Parts of speech. The noun. The verb. The... <laughs> oh, no. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it, okay? Parts of speech. The pronoun. Let's do the quiz on the pronouns. Where's the... <laughs> There's questions on pronouns. There's more questions on pronouns than there was for the Civil War. It's not going to be those pronouns, but we got to get eight correct. Which pronoun makes the most sense in this sentence? Paul was so tired, he could barely keep blank eyes open. He could barely keep his eyes open, my eyes open, or one's eyes open. It's, it, he could barely keep his eyes open. See? We... Natalie balanced four plates on its, <laughs> its head, on our head, on her head. Technically, technically, two of these answers could be correct. But... Since we live in reality, the answer is C. The sand, choose the correct relative pronoun. The sand dunes blank cover this beach are beautiful. The sand dunes who cover this beach are beautiful. The sand dunes that cover this beach are beautiful. Or the sand dunes who's covered this beach. The sand dunes what cover this beach are beautiful. What, 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 what accent is that? Because I can't do it. It's got to be that. This is really easy. This is easier than the Civil War. I wish everything was this easy. <laughs> Aetherwolf. The correct answer is Hoomstiv. <laughs> yeah, pen that one. Oh, hang on. We got whom here. Okay, choose the best question word for the sentence. Blank. One of you jokers filled my pillowcase with shaving cream. Who one of you jokers? Whom one of you jokers? Hoomstiv one of your jokers. It's which one of you jokers filled my pillowcase with shaving cream? Classic, classic prank. Put shaving cream in your pillowcase. Ha <laughs> ha. You got prank, bro. Look, there's the camera. He's going to get a million hits. Choose the best pronoun for the sentence. The ducks preened themselves in the sunshine or the ducks preened them in the sunshine. These are really easy. I feel like <laughs> we're going to get them all right. We, we, can get, we can just throw the next one. If the next two would still pass. We're going to get 100% though. We're going to see if we get some Khan Academy achievements. Choose the best form of the personal pronoun. Subjective, objective, or possessive. Blank decided to eat the last piece of pie. I decided to eat the last piece. My decided the last piece. Or me decided to eat the last piece of pie. Me decide to eat the last piece of pie. <laughs> Choose the, the last one. Choose the correct indefinite pronoun for the sentence. My pet chipmunk doesn't bite. Is that a euphemism? You have blank to worry about. You have neither to worry about. You have other to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. This, this one was painfully easy. We got 100%. We're going to get a lot of energy points for that. Look at that. They, were, they tried to load so much HTML5 confetti that it slowed my browser down. We got to look at all these energy points. What do we, what, can we spend these on stuff? Do, can we get like a Khan Academy sticker if I get enough? Let's pick something besides the pronoun. I just, I defaulted to that as a joke. Okay, parts of speech, the modifier, the preposition and the conjunction, the comma and the apostrophe. Those, that's, seems, the colon, the semicolon and more. This one might be pretty good because nobody knows how to use the fucking semicolon correctly. And this ought to be a, a fun thing. Conventions of Standard English <laughs> Usage and Style. Okay. So, since these go pretty quickly, let's let's do the... Oh, I have them. Oh, I've been opening them up in tabs. Let's go ahead. Let's do semicolon. And then we'll do uh, Conventions of Standard English. And get any seven correct. <laughs> Introduction to colons. As a gay guy, I should be able to get... I should be able to ace this. Get it? <laughs> so is this this is about consolidating the information here 
So we're we're taking this nonsense and smashing it down into something that's that is <laughs> that is not a Wikipedia paragraph. So um, because you know how fucking people on Wikipedia are, they they'll they'll take like this this the Strupafel whatever how, how you pronounce it, and they'll be like every episode in the season, every character, every minor character. Here's a game that uh, something awful introduced me to back when that website was uh, not a cesspool. They would look at the Wikipedia page for the internal combustion engine, arguably one of the greatest inventions of the Industrial Revolution. So they would take that article and then take its length and compare its length to articles on, like, Knuckles the Echidna, which, surprise, is much longer than the one for, for the internal combustion engine. So there's, there's that. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, the Stroop Waffle, the Stroop whatever, Stroop Waffle, was first made in Gouda by a baker using leftovers sweetened with syrup. One story ascribes the invention to the baker Gerard Gnatba, which would date the first. Okay, that A seems. Gouda, a baker. <laughs> that's just not even. <laughs> the Stroop Waffle was first made in Brett. Yeah, okay, that's was not as hard of a question as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Humdinger. I caught up on season one of Humdinger. <laughs> Gooses, thank you for the subscription, the the repeat subscription. I appreciate it, buddy. Hope you're I hope you're learning some, uh, some some grammar. We're gonna learn how to. I mean, obviously this is italicized because you're talking about the title of a television show. My dog ran up to me with a big carrot in her mouth. I don't even know where she found it. Again, this is a oh wait, is this a comma or a semicolon? That would be a comma. I think. Hey, Ness, which of these sounds better to you? My dog ran up to me with a big carrot in her mouth, comma. I don't even know where she found it. Or, my dog ran up to me with a big carrot in her mouth, semicolon. I don't even know where she found it. You don't know either? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> like... Two separate sentences, so it gets the semicolon. That's what I'm thinking, because it, it, basically the semicolon bridges two separate thoughts into one sentence, whereas the comma is kind of a continuation of the same thought. So these can be two separate thought, two separate thoughts. My dog ran up to me with a big carrot in her mouth. Period. I don't even know where she found it. I don't even know where my dog found the carrot. That's so. Let's see. Okay. See. What is the red punctuation doing in this sentence? It better, I don't know, better not be doing up to no good. I will run outside in my pajamas for one thing only. The ice cream truck. It's a hyphen, it's combining two words. Only the. <laughs> it's a dash, it's separating sentence elements. It's, it's <laughs> Which, what are the parentheses doing in this sentence? I, I don't know, what are they doing in this sentence? The vampire who had, moments ago, turned into a bat, was distressed to overhear what the other monsters thought of him. It's providing extra explanation. Like, because it's the vampire who is in a bat form. Was... <laughs> doesn't like doesn't like hearing the truth. When... That's the shit, man. He's got some bad monster friends. He's got some fair-ass some fair weather friends. Some two-timing, knife-in-the-back sons of bitches. Poor Dracula. What is the dash being used for in the sentence? Look out for the swarm of... Was all Dr. Montgomery managed before the termites overtook them? Termites? <laughs> oh, it's introducing a list of items, and the items would be the termites. No, it's... <laughs> the termites. Really? You're not going to say, like, ants or bees or... What is the colon doing in this sentence? I have a dentist appointment tomorrow at 4. <laughs> you can ask me this question for real. Like it's just... Okay, so we're we are apparently we are apparently geniuses at at this at at grammar. <laughs> Flea market Montgomery. Look at that. 925 energy points. Conventions of standard English. This sounds fun. This sounds not at all difficult. Okay, start test. We're going to do this one. Identify the choice that is a grammatically correct sentence. Would you like a cup of tea? 
Would you like a cup of tea, precious? Okay, maybe maybe this one's not going to be difficult. <laughs> Choose the sentence that maintains a parallel structure throughout. I like to ski, hiking, and fly fishing. <laughs> My name is Nathaniel. I like to Dane. So this is parallel structure is to verb, you know, pre pre present tense or like present a active active voice. It's it's this one. I, I don't know all the terms, but basically it's making sure that the, the, the conjugations and the presentation of the verbs is all correct. Identify the choice that results in a grammatically correct sentence. Around 10 o'clock, we will see the eclipse. Or around 10 o'clock. So technically... Technically, they're both correct, as assuming B is an answer to somebody's question. When are we when are we going to see the eclipse? Around ten o'clock. But I feel I'm feeling it's A. Just you know, yeah. <laughs> I Choose the option where the pronouns and their antecedents agree in number. I love the Lord of the Rings. They is my favorite book. <laughs> what have we learned today we got after this lag inducing confetti finishes uh falling we learned that we got 1025 energy points but at the same time we learned that a uh a a very well seasoned furry pornographer uh who who became popular for writing stories uh about people fucking reptiles and dragons fucking each other knows a thing or two about grammar. <laughs> what a surprise! What a surprise! Okay. <laughs>